Tomorrow night, Hollywood's biggest stars will hit the red carpet for the 96th Academy Awards. This year's Oscar nominees include a diverse group of stars and films with the potential to make history. Sometimes in Windy City Weekend, film critic Richard Roper joins us now with his predictions for the night's biggest winners. So good to have you on the weekend morning, man. Yes. My favorite morning crew in person. <laughs> I love you guys. Absolutely. You heard that, Tanya Tarrell. That's, the, that's the, you know, the, the critic saying it. Yeah, so. there you go. That's the critic's choice. His favorite morning. Sure. Okay. Critics' choice, right there. Okay, let's 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 start with yeah. with best picture here. What are your thoughts? Because I know Oppenheimer's been steamrolling some of the other ones. Yeah, you know, it's a great list of nominees. There are ten pictures nominated, and one of the great things about this is maybe people will see some of the lesser known films that got nominated. But it's going to be Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. It's sort of like the political primary season, guys. You know, if, yeah. if you're winning the Golden Globe and the BAFTA <laughs> and the Critics' Choice and two guys on the corner talking about movies, give it a trophy. It's right. going to win. So Oppenheimer's going to win Best Picture, and I think it should. It's a great film. It, yeah, it's kind of monumental. And in terms of Best Director, you think it's going to Nolan? Yeah, Christopher Nolan. You know, we can kind of claim Christopher Nolan is one of our own because he split his time between Evanston and Great Britain growing up. Did the Dark Knight movies here, but he's got five nominations and has never won. So this is also his year. Director and picture go hand in hand. Oh, yeah. Who do you like for best actor, be best actress? Wow, you know, these are going to be so close. If we talk about best actress, I think it comes down to Lily Gladstone and Emma Stone. Mm -hmm. Emma Stone has the bigger, showier role, but Lily Gladstone, when you watch Killers of the Flower Moon, she's the conscience. Oh, she's gosh, the yes. whole heart of that film. I hope Lily Gladstone wins. I think it's a brilliant, more understated performance. Mm -hmm. Completely Any agree. Any thoughts on best actor? I think it goes to Paul Giamatti. Uh, it's between him and Killian Murphy. Paul Giamatti's never won. We want to see him in in and out Burger afterwards. He likes to celebrate in a regular guy fashion. And he's perfectly, Sam, he's perfectly tailored to this role. I think that was a, that was a really good point that you made, is that, you know, you can you potentially could see other people playing Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer yeah. right? But this, this character is so for Paul Giamatti. Only Paul Giamatti could play a guy who's so unlikable and kind of make him lovable. <laughs> exactly. Listen, I'm rooting for Danielle Brooks in The Color Purple. She was amazing. Uh, that, that performance blew me away. Magnificent. And I was, I was skeptical because Oprah had that such an right. iconic yes. role. And I was like, there's an, I don't know if she's going to be it. But You're stepping into some real Louboutins there. You know? <laughs> some, some real <laughs> some expensive yeah. Louboutins. But she did great. Yeah, she was amazing, though I think Divine Joy Randolph is going to win for the holdovers. Okay. Again, it's the perfect marriage of actor and role. She's amazing. And a two great performances. Two great, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And in terms of best supporting actor, are you thinking it's going to Downey? Yeah. Yeah. Classic Hollywood comeback story. Yep. He disappears into the role. He's unrecognizable. The film's going to win about eight Oscars. Standing ovation guaranteed when they name Robert Downey Jr.'s best supporting actor. Hollywood loves him. I can't wait to hear his speech because the, right? this, every the single best. one has been so great and self-deprecating and funny and just, you know, it's it's great. He's just like Tony Stark. He, <laughs> he really is. Numbers. He is. Really quick, I want to talk about Barbie. You know, everybody's yeah. wondering how many awards Barbie's going to take because some people absolutely love it and then you have some people kind of like maybe rolling their eyes a little bit like yeah. Barbie really yeah, I loved it I think it might win for best song Billie Eilish's song mm -hmm. and it has great production design but you know when they talk about the snubs I'm like listen when Margot Robbie wakes up in the morning she's waking up like Barbie in real life yeah, yeah she, she is exactly. she's in Barbie's dreamland she'll, she'll be just fine if she doesn't <laughs> right. have something. Be, and I think Ryan Gosling he'll be all right too. yeah exactly probably, he, he might be like wow really life has <laughs> knighted them already yeah, they're good absolutely and it's so good I, I can't wait to see uh Ryan do his performance yeah, it's gonna, gonna be, be fantastic amazing. it's gonna be so. a great show i know i'm looking forward um, to it. thank you so much for hanging with us this thanks, morning guys. man it's great, great to, to see talk you. to you all look the producer's so probably true. gonna be it's yelling so at we're, we're getting <laughs> the hard rap <laughs> we could talk to you all morning Bring long on yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much richard appreciate thanks, it as always thank you and tomorrow's oscar coverage starts at noon on sunday with countdown to the oscars on the red carpet live and there's a special edition of world news tonight at 3 30 followed by eyewitness news at four then we're sending it back to the red carpet the oscars pre-show starts at 5.30, then the Oscars gets underway at 6. Keep in mind that's an hour earlier than usual. And then it's Al Abbott Elementary at 9.30, followed by Eyewitness News at 10. Right after that, you can watch on the red carpet after the awards at 10.30. So much good Oscar stuff tomorrow. Can't wait. Yes, yes. Super Bowl for movie lovers. We'll be there. We will. Well, not in Hollywood, well, but in spirit. <laughs> yes, we will. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.